Hi, my name is Jennifer Flores and I work for the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Council for the Concho Valley. I'm here to talk to you today about the last section of our external assets within the 40 develop developmental assets uh, defined by Search Institute. So this section is actually called Constructive Use of Time. Um, and it starts with number 17, which is creative activities. So the young person spends three or more hours per week in lessons um, or practice in music, literature, or any other type of arts. And so I'm a real big advocate on um, art and just getting your child involved in anything that can really elaborate their their skills and their uh, passions that they have. So this could be sports, this could be reading um, art like acrylic or painting with uh, watercolors, um, Legos, you know, doing building blocks. You can really do anything um, based off of their age and what their interests are. Um, so it's really important during this time to uh, recognize that um, and, and set the time aside for that. Number 18 are gonna be youth programs. Uh, the young person spends three or more hours per week in sports or clubs or organizations um, within the community. And I know that that is a difficult um, one to achieve right now, but these youth programs could be also through Zoom. I know some organizations, um, for example, Girl Scouts, are providing um, a means for their their girls within that program to uh, learn and grow um, via Zoom um, and and seeing those presentations through that outlet. Um, so there are options. Uh, just really stay in tuned with your community and the resources that they're offering during this time. Number 19 is going to be religious community. Um, and so that could be just staying in tuned as well with what your um, your church or um, churches within the community are offering. Uh, they are as well, you know, doing live stream or YouTube videos. So, um, you know, call and stay in contact with them during this time, um, but also provide uh, that um, love and care to others in the, in the neighborhood that you are in. Um, and that's really important during this time as well. Um, and just have a positive outlook on life uh, for your kids. Uh, you know, we talked about role models, and so they see how you react to stress or um, um, different obstacles that come up. So really have a positive outlook on it um, so that way they can learn um, from us and how we deal with, with conflict. Uh, number 20 is going to be time at home. And so during this time that we have at home with our kids, um, you know, day in and day out, uh, set aside, you know, chores for them to do, set aside projects for them to work on. Um, the time that we have together is uh, valued. And so this is the time that you can develop those core beliefs um, for your children. Um, and so this can be set around mealtime, dinners, uh, game nights, uh, meditation time, uh, getting involved with sports outside. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, again, just stay in tune with us. Uh, we'll be constantly posting some videos for you to see either on our YouTube, uh, Facebook, or our ADAC page. Thank you.